So, a lot of people may not be uh, acquainted with a uh, certain Jeff Sessions. He is the United States Attorney General. And he's a fucking idiot. <laughs> okay. Absolute fucking moron. All right. So, before I get into this, a little backstory about the man, right? He is complete, as you know, in the United States, we are starting a kind of revolution with cannabis, bringing it into the legal side of things instead of keeping it on the black market to... Oh, yeah. Like, at, at this point, it's but, inevitable. Yeah. Right. And this man is like literally fucking reefer madness at its fucking height. And he claims to be such a fucking scientific guru, genius, and shit. Like, he knows every fucking thing out there about fucking cannabis and how fucking bad it is that he thinks that it is the absolute worst idea to legalize the fucking most helpful plant on the fucking face of the planet. At least that's my opinion on the fucking plant. It does a lot more than you get you high like, if you don't think so. I need to so, a fucking do, count so. on this. The amount of times you said fucking in that one sentence. <laughs> or are we going to have like a just, counter on the just, screen? <laughs> this now, makes me feel so fucking emotional. <laughs> now, allow me to... I'm not going to play devil's advocate because I don't believe marijuana should be legal. But I'm going to try to give why I think uh, Donald Trump put Sessions in the position that he put him in. Uh, Donald Trump has been asked repeatedly and has always said that he is for he's 100 percent for medical marijuana and recreational marijuana should be left up to the states. There is no discussion on his policy on that. Now, he put Sessions in charge because Sessions is loyal to him. And um, at the time when Trump was appointing people, there was not a lot of people that were going to be loyal to him. So even though mm -hmm. he has a few really dumb opinions Trump can just veto him when he knows he's wrong. You know, that would give me uh that would give me a slight glimmer of like feel good, like okay, we're gonna be good if Trump wasn't a total fucking retard oh. about some things. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> I mean I mean, granted, I respect his idealism of fucking like the immigration thing and trying to fix Obamacare and shit like that and the fact that he's all on board for medical marijuana and shit like that but there's just some things that are just so fucking questionable it's like are you a fucking nine year old man child or something <laughs> like seriously what the mm -hmm. fuck is wrong with you, you orange potato chip well, if you were, Nick, let's be honest. If you were a multi-billionaire, uh, you'd be a pretty, you'd be a pretty cocky motherfucker, and you wouldn't really take much shit. Very true. Very true. Uh, very true. But and but it, it plays born. into his character. And he was that... born with. <laughs> he had money from the fucking beginning. He didn't know what it was like to fucking be on the ground and have to fucking get your meal out of a trash can type uh, deal. Most people don't. Uh, <laughs> I mean, people, well, a, a lot of people know what it's... speaking. Yeah, yeah. Figuratively speaking. I mean, but, from going to from the nobody man's credit, to somebody. To the man's credit, you give most... 22 year olds a million dollars and they'll have blown it all on worthless shit in in a year or two very true that's one thing i can give him credit for is that he didn't do that he invested in it and fucking quadrupled his amount over and over and over and over again until he is where he is now now he's the fucking president all of a sudden yeah he's I mean, the most yeah. powerful man in the world arguably yeah. is this about mm. marijuana Yes, it is. Now, let me let me get back to the subject at hand. Um, okay. So, a few things about Jeff Sessions. One, he finds marijuana to be equally as dangerous as fucking opioids and heroin. Now, he said that. Did you just say he's a scientific guru? Yes. No, he thinks he's a scientific guru. Oh, he, That's okay. what he thinks I missed the tinks. He is. 
Yeah, he, he thinks. thinks he is. He thinks he is. Yeah, he thinks he's a fucking scientific guru, and yet every fucking step of the way, he's always like disregarding facts and new scientific breakthroughs about this stupid plant that should have been legalized age that should have never been fucking prohibition. Or that's not really a word. Like, but my opinion on this people me- like this that are in this much denial. Is that they cannot be this stupid. They obviously know the benefits, but are being fucking tipped off for someone not to actually admit well, it. Well, when, when you look at it's, something like this, you have to ask, is the person evil or are they stupid? Now, like uh, like my grandmother, she's 88 years old, and she uh, like they've given her so much medication, Xanax, Narcos, whatever you want to name it. My dad uh, talks to her one day, and my dad's a very pro-marijuana guy, and he's uh, he's like, you know... What do you what do you think about getting on medical marijuana? Because a lot of this could be helped, and you wouldn't have to go through all of the the pills with negative side effects. Mm. And her response is, "Marijuana? Oh no, not any yeah, of that." Yeah. Because people people that are that age, and Jeff Jeff Sessions is like seventy years old. Uh, you, you they've they've just had so much of that reefer madness, and so much of that. Uh, indoctrination more or less into them it's, that you it, it's, it's really hard to get them thinking any life. other way yeah it's mm-hmm. what they've been hearing the whole yeah. life so you can't just change like they can't just change their opinion like that like after 70 years of hearing marijuana is the devil like they can't just go oh but these things are saying that they're not like oh no but i've been hearing it my whole life how are you right <laughs> that's very true i mean i understand like any aspect of that like coming someone who's a christian and starting to believe starting to get other opinions of god may not be real shit like that you know it's it's hard to accept things like that but when you have surmounting evidence about the folly of the whole situation it's just like jesus christ how could you even still cling to this how could you even like say the things that are saying like do you hear the words coming out of your mouth you sound so uneducated and so useless can to you, the fucking can, cabinet can you give us examples of some of the ridiculous things he said i got it i got one here. Oh, okay i realize this may be an unfashionable belief in a time of growing tolerance of drug use but too many lives are at stake to worry about being fashionable I reject the idea that America will be a better place if marijuana is sold at every corner store. I'm astonished to hear people suggest that we could solve our heroin crisis by legalizing marijuana so people can trade one light fracking dependency for another one that's only slightly less awful. Our nation needs to say clearly once again that using drugs will destroy your life. Now, I agree that using drugs will destroy your life. Like that fucking narco fucking pharmaceutical business that fucking pays you to say this shit. Or the alcohol business that tells you to fucking say this shit. I understand that completely. But marijuana is by no means on the same scale as heroin or opiates. No one has ever fucking directly died from marijuana ever and yet you have the gall to fucking say this shit that is just what ticks me off about the man and I, I understand that he is an old man who has old-timey beliefs but this old man with his old-timey beliefs has a shitload of fucking power and to tell you something interesting the title of this, which I'm not entirely sure is actually fucking true or not, but it says Jeff, Jeff Sessions just kicked off the next war on drugs. Uh, Where's he, the, uh, what's the source? He has done a good job in, like, fucking gearing you up, so I'm sure that's a lot for a lot of advocates like yourself. I'm sure that's the same. Like, this guy is a fucking moron. We have to show people the truth. I'm sure that's what you're feeling now, and I'm sure that's, like, what every marijuana advocate is feeling. True, and there's also... There's also this little bit of information that really will really get you titillated. What's the um, uh, what website are you reading this off of? Um, what the fuck is this? Uh, I think it's Canifo. So, um, one thing that he did back in '96, right? Now he completely forgot that he did this, right? You know, it was uh, something so minuscule as fucking sticking a stick up your ass that you just forget about it. Um. He um, was an advocate for the death penalty 
for being like a third time offender of selling drugs, whatever that specific drug may be, including marijuana. That is a fucking a harsh fucking sentence for someone who just deals shit. I'm, I mean, I, I get it. Incarcerate them, sure. Or fucking teach them how to get a proper job or some shit. No, none of that. Fucking kill them. Hmm. You know, just, just fucking kill them. You know, th that, that implying we shouldn't just send them to a gulag and have free labor. <laughs> <laughs> I, I said job opportunity, teaching them how to get real jobs. So <laughs> that's right up. That's right up that alley. <laughs> but, so, I mean, I don't know. It just let me read this article here now. Actually, the gist while of he, what this article says. So, was, so that was while he was attorney general of Alabama. Uh, this is now. Oh, stop. Not in '96. He was attorney general. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that that's when he said that. Mm -hmm. And recently, he was like, I don't even remember, and he was like smiling and shit, <laughs> like fuck, <laughs> fuck frick. So, anyways, so basically, this article says Jeff Sessions just kicked off the next war on drugs. Now, I doubt that's entirely true. I think that's just the clickbaity part of the article, right here. So, anyway. Because if the the a new uh, war on drugs was around, I'm sure Jack would know about it. <laughs> I mean, it'd be on the news and shit. So, anyway, uh, after the quote, oh, that's it. That's it. This story is developing. Stay tuned for more. <laughs> <laughs> journalism. Uh, I love modern okay. journalism. <laughs> oh, it's so fucking great. I have a quote, copy and paste to save a few <laughs> fucking words. Just yeah, but yeah. So basically. <laughs> The man is just whatever he has planned for me personally. I don't give a shit. Me personally, I really just want to see the marijuana industry, the cannabis industry, flourish, and it's going to, regardless or not. But I have a feeling this man is going to slow it the fuck down, like ridiculously. And I don't want to see that. I wish he could just see the fucking light that it's not a big deal. But I think, as we've said, he is paid off by too many big budget fucking companies and organizations and shit to really be bothered with it. All right. Looking at his, his history, and this is from Wikipedia. Uh, he's uh, so dating back to 20 to two to before 2005, he supported the border fence with Mexico uh, tax cuts in 2001 and 2003. He supported the Iraq war uh, proposed a national <laughs> amendment to ban same-sex marriage. Oh my God. So, uh, <laughs> what a fuck. the 2009 stimulus bill, uh, the don't ask, don't tell repeal act, which don't ask, don't tell. Do we all know what that is? No, no. Don't ask, don't tell was, I think it was Clinton era where basically you could join the military if you were gay, as long as you didn't tell oh anybody you were gay. God, what the man. fuck? <laughs> This guy. Okay, I, I, I just, lost. never mind. I, I, and that was, yeah. never mind. Don't Ask, Don't Tell was put in place by Clinton because, uh, so I believe by Clinton, tell. because you, you just <laughs> couldn't have gays in the military or whatever. Uh, but he he supported repealing that. Uh, let's see. He opposed all three of Obama's Supreme Court nominees. I mean, most people did. Uh, so he's got tax cuts are good. You know, war is not, not good. Same-sex marriage, uh, you know, probably not a good idea to ban that. Um, so uh, he supported the border fence with Mexico. I would bet that, you know, Trump just has him in there because he can he can get him on more things than he can't. And, you know, uh, Trump, he said that he has he has very close personal friends who rely on marijuana to uh, survive and, and to treat uh, like uh, like uh illnesses for a lack of a better word that they have so yeah. i i don't i it would i don't believe it's going to get any worse it might get better slower than it would without him but medical is not going to get stopped no. uh new hampshire i believe they uh decriminalized they completely decriminalized marijuana uh a few weeks ago they um the, the New Hampshire government works very slow. Uh, it's very hard to change things there. So they had decriminalized small amounts, and then they decriminalized slightly larger amounts, and now they've completely decriminalized marijuana. Uh, 
So, you know, it's coming. 